Hey there guys, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, here in Austin, Texas. And today, I'm going to be showing you how science can cure a hangover. So I've been doing a lot of research lately on hangovers, and I thought I should compile all of the science and knowledge that we have together into a sort of hangover cure. But the key to understanding how to cure a hangover is to first understand what the hangover is. A hangover is when you experience some unpleasant physical and mental effects after the consumption of alcohol. Basically, you're wrecked after a night on the piss. And they can last for a few hours or a few days. The symptoms include fatigue, headache, nausea, misery, and just general discomfort. It's not fun. So everywhere on the internet says that it's unclear how hangovers are caused, but it's pretty bloody obvious. Alcohol is a mild toxin. We're basically drinking poison. And the more poison that we drink, the worse we're gonna feel. So let me teach you a little bit about how alcohol affects our bodies and what we can do to minimize those effects. So when we drink, we're consuming alcohol, which contains ethanol. And ethanol is the chemical that makes us feel drunk. Now, ethanol is toxic to the body. Oh, it's good. So our body needs to break it down, right? So our liver converts ethanol into acetaldehyde, which is actually even more toxic than ethanol but then that gets converted on into acetate, which turns into carbon dioxide and water, which is harmless. So that's how our body deals with ethanol. But the more alcohol we drink, the more that acetaldehyde builds up, and it's a really toxic chemical that promotes inflammation and cellular damage throughout the body. Also, most alcoholic drinks contain congeners, chemicals similar to ethanol, like methanol or acetone, that are introduced during the production processes. And these also contribute to hangovers by promoting that inflammation. Generally, dark liquors like this 16-year Lagavulin Scotch whiskey will have higher concentrations of congeners, and so they're gonna cause a worse hangover. <sighs> Meanwhile, lighter liquors like this bottle of tequila have lower concentrations of congeners, and so they should cause less of a hangover. So inflammation, it's caused by acetaldehyde and it's promoted by congeners. Whoop de doo what does it all mean, Basil? Basically, these harsh chemicals are gonna produce free radicals, which are gonna promote oxidative stress and cause cellular damage throughout the body, causing a serious hangover. Also, when you drink, you get dehydrated. You already knew that, right? Basically, alcohol suppresses the hormone vasopressin, which normally stops us from peeing, so you urinate a lot. And you lose all of the stored up water in your body, as well as lots of essential vitamins and minerals and salt. All of that gets flushed away when you start drinking. And this chemical imbalance and loss of water is gonna trigger a severe headache and mess up a lot of your bodily functions. So to summarize, acetaldehyde, congeners, and dehydration. By your powers combined, I am Captain Hangover. Captain Planet, he's a hero. So just quickly, let's talk about preventing hangovers. Maybe try not drinking. Ah, who am I kidding? You're watching this video, you're gonna drink. Good on you. Okay, so the next two tactics, eat before you drink. If you have some food in your belly, that's gonna slow the absorption of alcohol and lower your peak blood alcohol limit. And the lower that peak limit, the less of a hangover you're gonna get. The other tip is to drink water and use hydrolyte throughout the night to maintain salt levels and minimize dehydration while you're drinking. But anyway, onto the good stuff. How do we cure a hangover using science? Well, when you wake up and you feel terrible, like, it's been a big night and you are gone. Here's what you're gonna do. The best thing you can do to treat a hangover is to treat the individual symptoms. A 
hangover is just a combination of symptoms. And if you can treat each of those symptoms one by one, you're gonna feel heaps better in no time. So the first thing you need to treat is dehydration, right? You've been drinking all night, you've pissed away all your liquids, your salts, things like that. You need to get that back. So you need to drink water before you go to bed. Otherwise, you're gonna be dehydrated all night long and your body is gonna be messed up in the morning. So before you go to bed, drink heaps of water. Just don't drink too much that you're gonna wet the bed because look, it happens to the best of us and it's not fun. Also, you can use something like Hydrolyte or Barocca to replenish your salt and that's gonna help you retain more water. Next thing to treat is pain. You got a headache, you got aches throughout your body. It's all that inflammation that's going on. And you know, how do we treat pain? Painkillers, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like aspirin or ibuprofen. Take some of these and they're gonna treat your headache in no time. Just be aware that your stomach's a bit more vulnerable after a night of drinking to being damaged by these kind of drugs. So don't go crazy, but if you've got a bad headache, take those pills. Next symptom, nausea. You're not feeling too good. Your stomach's gonna produce a lot of acid after drinking alcohol, and that acid's gonna make you feel like you wanna vomit, it's gonna stop you from wanting to eat. Take antacids or Pepto-Bismol. These kind of drugs can reduce the acidity levels in your stomach that have built up from drinking too much alcohol. And then you can eat something, like just something simple, bread or cereal, not a big greasy breakfast that's too hard to digest. You just need something simple to replenish your blood sugar and get your stomach back on the right track. Boom, next, fatigue. You're tired, you're exhausted. You probably haven't got a good night's sleep and alcohol messes with your sleep cycle anyway. So how do you normally treat fatigue and tiredness? Caffeine, right? Whatever you normally do on a regular day, do it again. Get a coffee or a cup of tea, it's gonna save your life. By consuming what your body's used to, it's gonna help calm your nerves and revitalize your brain and really help your body start to recover. The last thing you've gotta do is give it time and take some rest. And I know that's not much of a miracle cure, but that's what you gotta do. You've taken painkillers for the pain, you've been drinking water to reduce dehydration, you've taken some pills to settle your stomach, you're eating something to return your blood sugar, you've had some caffeine, now you just need to rest. Honestly, you just need to give your body time to return to a normative state and get back into balance with itself. So chuck on your favorite Netflix series, get as comfortable as a hungover person can get, and just wait for your body to make itself feel better. Unless you've got to go to work. Then you're f***ed. Finally, a word on alternative remedies. Now, there's no scientific evidence that these are actually effective at treating hangovers in any way but there hasn't been a lot of scientific testing for things like you know, milk thistle or energy drink or eating fast food before you go to bed. There's no evidence that that stuff really helps. And you know those hangover pills that they sell at drugstores now? They don't work. They're not effective. There is no evidence that proves that they help with hangovers at all. But a placebo effect is gonna be really important. So, <laughs> If you think that something is gonna help you out with your hangover, no matter what it is, if you're confident that it'll work, your brain will help you to feel better and actually treat that hangover. So, if you take my advice to treat those symptoms individually, and you think that that's gonna make your hangover feel better, I guarantee it will help your hangover. Or if you think that some other crazy remedy is gonna do it, and you're really convinced that it works, it'll probably work, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Thanks so much for watching this video about hangovers and hangover cures and science and drinking and me getting drunk. It was fun to make. Um, if you did like it, click the like button down below because that helps me out. If you've got any hangover cures of your own, like special remedies or anything, check them in the comment section down below. Share them with us, why not? Finally, subscribe for more Traveling Science every week. I'm always traveling around the world to crazy places like this and making videos on rooftops about drinking alcohol and, and the science of the world and how it can help you. So look, please subscribe, because you will, you'll love it. So uh, yeah, cheers for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Uh.